Among those left behind are Afghans who worked with the U.S. and their families. Tonight, we're hearing from an Afghan who's in Tucson, but many of his family members remain in Afghanistan. When Arizona lawmaker tried everything she could to try and rescue the family, but couldn't make it happen. They're talking exclusively tonight to News 4 Tucson's Eric Fink. It's a story you'll see only on 4. The worst feeling of my life. It's the feeling of the unknown for Hafiz Nadre. Hafiz is in Tucson, separated from nearly two dozen of his closest family members who watched the final U.S. planes leave Afghanistan Monday. They could not get out in time, and now they are fearing for their lives. You cannot express by the word because when all your family, like your brother, sister, your everyone is not with you and you see them that you cannot do anything for them. This is really heartbroken. Hafiz and his brother Abdul and their family first met state lawmaker Alma Hernandez eight years ago when their business first took the Nadri family to Tucson for the gem show. They've always been someone, you know, very giving, very loving, and now they're in need of help. Hernandez has been working nonstop for the last two weeks to get Abdul and his family out of Afghanistan. She helped get an uncle and another brother safely out of harm's way late last week. But 23 family members, including Abdul and 12 children, are still there. Yesterday when I had to call them and let them know that there was nothing more we could do and, you know, just giving them a notice that there was no help coming their way. Um, that was probably one of the most difficult things I've ever had to do in my life. Hernandez says one of the brothers was recently assaulted by members of the Taliban in his home. Another worked as a contractor for the U.S. military during the war. He, too, is left behind. It's really frustrating that he gave so many years to help our U.S. military and support, and, you know, now we're basically leaving him there. It's very difficult because there are so many children involved. All of the family members um, are in great danger. I do feel that I failed them because they were depending on me and there was nothing I could do. And Hernandez asks others to continue to pray. She hopes the U.S. will be able to bring more people to safety over the next few weeks. I'm Eric Fink, News 4 Tucson.